Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 is equal to 81. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. x plus, uh, we write this 1 over x first, 1 over x plus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 81. Now we suppose that this uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to t. Let x plus 1 over x is equal to t. So this equation will become t plus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 81. So we move this 81 to the left hand side. So this will become t plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus 81 is equal to 0. Now this t plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as a t plus 1 whole squared and uh, whole to the power 2 minus this uh, 81 can be written as uh, 9 squared is equal to 0. Now we have difference of 2 squares so by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. This expression will become t plus 1 whole squared minus 9 times t plus 1 whole squared plus 9 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression t plus 1 whole squared minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 1 whole squared plus 9 is equal to 0. Now from this equation t plus 1 whole squared minus this 9 can be written as 3 squared is equal to 0. And by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become t plus 1 plus 3 times t plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this will become t plus 4 times this will become t minus 2 is equal to 0. And from here in this expression t plus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression t minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 4 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 2. Now from this equation we expand this uh, t plus 1 whole squared by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, 2ab plus b squared. So this t plus 1 whole squared will become t squared plus uh, 2 times t plus 1 plus this 9 is equal to 0 and the t squared plus uh, 2 times t 1 plus 9 will become 10 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula t is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 
4 times a is 1 times c is 10 divided by 2 times a is 1 next t is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this 2 squared will become 4 negative 4 times 1 times 10 will become negative 40 divided by 2 times 1 will become 2 next t is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this 4 minus 40 will become negative 36 divided by 2 and t is equal to negative 2 plus minus this square root of negative 36 can be written as root 36 times root negative 1 divided by 2 and t is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 36 is 6 this square root of negative 1 will become i divided by 2. Now, this 2 1 time, 2 1 time and 2 3 times 6. So, we get the value of t is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i and first we found the value of t 2 and negative 4. Value of t is equal to 2 and value of t is equal to negative 4. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to t. So, when t is equal to negative 4, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 4. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 4x. Move this negative 4x to the left hand side, this will become x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 and uh, x is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write uh, 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times uh, c is 1 divided by 2 times uh, a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of this uh, 4 squared is uh, 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 will become 4 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 4 plus minus 16 minus 4 will become root 12 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 4 plus minus this uh, square root of 12 can be written as a uh, square root of 4 times root 3 divided by 2 x x is equal to negative 4 plus minus uh, square root of 4 will become 2 times root 3 divided by 2 and x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 2 plus minus root 3 divided by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the two values of x x1 and x2 is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 3. Now, when t is equal to 2, then this equation will become 
x plus 1 over x is equal to 2. And we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 2 times x. And the x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And this will become x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. If we take square root of both sides, this implies that uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, from here we get uh, value of third x and uh, fourth x is equal to 1. Now, we solve for this value of t negative 1 plus minus 3i. So, we start from this equation x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to t. If we multiply both sides by x, uh, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, 1 is equal to t times x. Move this t x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus t times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative t plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative t squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative t will become positive t plus or minus square root of this negative t squared will become positive t squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 times 1 2. Now, in this equation we replace this t and this t with this value of t negative 1 plus minus 3i. So, this will become x is equal to value of t is negative 1 plus minus 3i plus minus square root of value of t is negative 1 plus minus 3i whole squared minus this 4 divided by this 2. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i plus or minus square root of, we expand this in negative 1 plus minus 3 i whole square. So, this will become negative 1 squared plus minus 2 times negative 1 times 3 times i plus 3 i squared minus 4 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared will become 1 and plus minus 2 times negative 1 times 3 i will become minus plus 6 times i plus this 3 i whole squared will become 9 i squared minus 4 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i plus or minus square root of 1 minus plus 6 times i plus 9 times we replace this i squared with the we replace this i squared with the negative 1. So, this will become 9 times negative 1 minus 4 divided by 2. Next, 
x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i plus or minus square root of 1 minus plus 6 times i this 9 times negative 1 will become negative 9 minus 4 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 3 times i plus minus this will become square root of this 1 minus 9 and minus 4 will become negative 12 minus plus 6 i divided by 2. So, from here we get uh, fifth and uh, sixth value of x is equal to negative 1 plus uh, 3 times i plus minus square root of negative 12 minus 6 i divided by 2 and we get uh, seventh and uh, eighth value of x is equal to negative 1 minus 3 times i plus minus square root of negative 12 plus 6 times i divided by 2. And first we get the value of x 1 and 2 x 1 and 2 is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 3. We get the value of x 3 and x 4 is equal to x 3rd and 4th is equal to 1. x 3 and 4 is equal to 1. So, we have 8 solutions of this equation.